There we go, the brand new track from Ia yeah. called Pumo. Beautiful stuff there. And now we are going to be having a bit of a sh- extended showcase of some Taonga Puoro. Yeah. And uh, if you are listening, uh, make sure you head along to the Bass Fem uh, website later on in the week and we'll uh, have a video up there where you can see some of these beautiful instruments. So, yes, let's get into it. A uh, bit of a chat with Ia about the uh, Taonga Puro. So what have, what have we got here, bro, that you've been using on some of these uh, tracks? Okay, brother. So these instruments make up about two-thirds of the instruments that we are using in that single Puma. Uh, but when we're talking about weherua, ororua, rangi, mm. koko, rangi, fetu, that's a whole nother whānau of instruments that we're, uh, we've left at home. But today we want to focus on these ones. And uh, we've got a range. We've got a few flutes here, one over here, one over here, and one over here. We've got some percussion over here and here. Uh, we've got uh, a whistle here and another flute, which is a nose flute. I thought I'll introduce you to them. Yep. We've got the putorino right here. This one's uh, 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 carved by uh, Matua Brian, Brian Flintoff. And we've got a stone karangamanu. This thing is beautiful. Mm. Makes It can replicate the sound of a lot of native birds. Um, I'll demonstrate this one in a second. We've got a kōwowo, the classic kōwowo given to us by the Matua Maui himself all the way back in the ancient days. Polynesian navigator himself, that guy, eh? Yep. Um, I love this one. This has got a lot of range. Uh, we've got a porotiti here made from ponamu. This one gives uh, quite a nice percussive um, and texture in the, in the song Pumo. Love this one here. We've got a nguru, which traditionally... Um, is played in both ends. We've got this end which is for the nose and this end which is for cross blowing with your with your mouth. This one's a very versatile instrument. And a beautiful nose flute. This is a punga ihu made from a hue or a gourd. Look at that. I oh, love that design. That's like a moko. Amazing. Isn't yep. it? And then we've got some percussive toka. So I'll give you a little demo. Let's yeah, start off with this. Just want to shut that window before we get into get it. Yeah. Rid of this window. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need the bus now. So um, we've got three little wene wene in here or three little pitch holes. And we blow across here with our ihu, with our nose. And this is the main melody in Pumo. So you'll hear this in the intro. Is our punga ihu. Amazing. Makes the the main melody there in our new composition. And is that a small gourd? Is that? It is a small yeah. gourd. Yep. Amazing. It's actually a bigger one. Oh yeah. That we use for the it's the recording. The, the recording that's the kick drum. Oh, okay. so, uh, so we've got a gourd about oh, it's this bigger. big. It's yeah, massive it's and huge. we use that for uh you blow across the edge here. And it creates this real booming sound. And we mm. use that for our kick drum in the recording of Pumo. Yeah. And uh, that was that was played by our brother Tudor. Two sticks. Two Four. sticks. <laughs> oh, he's going to love that. He's going to love it. <laughs> Two sticks. So Tudor. that's our main one there. Amazing. Then I go on to the Putorino in, in the song Pumo. And then I add this layer. So that's the second layer in Pumo, and this is the Putorino. Mm. Amazing. And this is a two-part instrument. If you take a look over here, you've got this line splitting the instrument in half. What they used to do is they used to take one piece of wood, split it on that line, Mm. and then they would gouge out the middle, put it back together, and you would then have a cylinder on the inside creating a hole. Yep. Uh, and then they would put their ornamentation on there, uh, what we would call uh, whakata niko niko, 
And this one's got three voices. That was the first one you heard. It's got a trumpet voice. This is a voice you'll hear in Ororua Rangi. And then there's uh, a female voice which is uh, cross blown. And it's quite a high raspy voice, and you can mm. get some really high mm. tones out of that. Amazing. Yeah, beautiful instrument there. And then we've got our nguru. This co- accompanies the, the putorino. Uh, I cross blow it in this composition. Uh, but we get a lot of notes out of this uh, particular instrument. It's a beautiful one. That's our nguru. Down to our kōauo. Look at the carvings on this bad boy. Yes. Awesome. Once again, Fano, make sure you head along to the YouTube page later on and you can uh, check out all of these it's beautiful, beautiful instruments. carvings there. Mm. Go to the Facebook, Fano. <laughs> yeah. Have a good look. Well, uh, let's have a listen yeah, to this Having one. a bit of a taonga puoro demonstration, the kōauo coming Jam in now. Very, very high pitched. Mm, isn't really it cuts through the mix, that one. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. Great for melodies. And this one plays the main melody in uh, that composition. And I think the composition, uh, mm-hmm. same, same kawaiwo there. And then we've got some manu calls, pretty straightforward here. Sounds like a bit of a hee hee or the mm-hmm. kind of the chattering of a ti waiwaka. Mm-hmm. Very chattery Bird sounds. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, can, can get quite a few sounds out of here. We also have a karanga weka in that recording, but I didn't yeah. bring that with me today. Mm-hmm. And then the last one, Fano, we're about to rock out. <laughs> get it? Get it? Because yep. I'm holding <laughs> two stones, two rocks, two small stones. Yep. Right. Okay. Quite flat. Quite flat. Yeah. Good and for you, skimming, but don't. Very throw good away. for skimming and percussions. Yeah. Now, what we like to do is we like to put this in the palm of our hands. And if you close your hand and open your hand, you can get different pitches. Right. And the rhythm in that particular way out goes like this. You get little sounds like this. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Quite nice textures there. Yeah. And then over here, we've got our puro titi ready to go. Oh, okay, here we go, yep. So Moitu's playing a puro titi there that we actually uh, used in the composition. Yeah. And that one there is just made out of ponamu. Mm-hmm. Well. And then the last one. It's last one. Oh, boy. the big, big bad boy. Yeah. Putatara. Putatara. Okay. And this one you'll hear it in the middle of Pumo. Calling out. All right. I'm oh, going to yeah. sample that one myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what we actually ended up doing yeah, bro, is them. we took the big, the big one, Pumana, so a massive right. conch. We sampled it on a mic. Yeah. And then we imported it into our Ableton. Yes. Into a sampler, cut out all the high frequencies and created a really deep sub bass. And oh, that's so the that's, that's, that's the sh- bass you actually hear in Pumo. Yeah. So sampling Tonga Puro mm. is definitely the level up yeah. again. Yeah. And we want to explore that more totally. as Puro artists, how to take these voices and expand them in the digital realm. Wow. It's been amazing. 
Um, thank you so much for bringing in these stories and the instruments to the bass and family. I think this is the first time we've kind of only done anything this in depth uh, <laughs> in terms <laughs> cool. of Taonga yeah. Pua or even, even looking at instruments, more of a yeah, kind of dialogue. So um, really interesting and uh, enjoying the music that you guys are creating with these instruments as well. So keep it up and thank you so much for joining us. Burr. We're going to jump into Big up, one Big up, final FM. track. Um, where can people see Ia? Have you got any performances we coming up? We have one. Yep. One show in Wellington mm. at the Cupidupa Festival. Okay. And that's coming up in March. March the 26th and 7th we are there. Okay. Yes. Uh, and I'm not somewhere on Cuba Street, I, I imagine. Okay. Street. So if you guys keen to come check us out, Poor Nicky, Wellington, Poor Nicky. come no, down. Yeah. You'll see fellas Cooper Duper Street Festival. What 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 were the dates on that again, sorry? 26th and 27th 